Off the top tonight at 5.30, Utah's air quality is not so good right now. You can see right there on your screen, Salt Lake County is in the orange. That means our air quality is in the unhealthy range for sensitive groups. Now, if you've been outside today, you can see exactly why we're in the orange. An inversion is here, as Brett has been telling us, and it is not leaving anytime soon. Yeah, at least if you're in the valley, you see the inversion. It That's is right. ugly, and for some, it can be deadly. Fox 13's Danica Lawrence is live with who's at risk, Danica. Hope and Bob, I know you're inside, but outside we've been staring at this nasty inversion all day long, and we know that that means those people with some breathing issues can really be struggling. But I spoke with Intermountain Healthcare, one of their cardiologists, and he tells me those with an underlying heart condition, they're at a much higher risk of problems. For 24 years, Intermountain Healthcare interventional cardiologist Dr. Brett Muhlstein has treated heart patients, but until last fall, he never thought air pollution had anything to do with heart failure until studies proved otherwise. Suddenly I realized air pollution is not only a lung problem, it's a heart problem, and therefore it's my problem and my patient's problem. He researched and found on days when the air is bad in the valley, his heart attack patients go from one to two a day to... So we get two to five per day on a bad air day. It's double the risk, and as the particulate matter increases, the heart attack risk increases. Particulate matter flows through the bloodstream and can cause existing plaque to rupture. That triggers a clot to form, blocking blood flow to the heart causing a heart attack. Tomorrow, Dr. Muhlstein is on heart attack call. Well, I'm <laughs> expecting to have more than average because I understand the inversion is going to last at least through tomorrow. Dr. Muhlstein also had some good tips for people with an underlying heart condition or just anyone who struggles with these kind of inversions out here. He's talking about changing your air filters at home. He also rides an electric bike himself. He lives up in Bountiful, so he's kind of above the inversion, but he's on a hill. And he says riding that electric bike also saves a lot of emissions instead of driving a car, so he recommends that. And that also stems from earlier today at noon. I was telling you guys about a sustainability fair that I was at, and they had all different new innovative ways of helping sustain our lifestyle, our environment, and getting rid of this nasty air. Obviously, it can't happen overnight, but they had some tips. UDOT talked about trip chain instead of running one errand, then going home, and then another errand, and then going home, just doing them all at once. And also, those electric bikes, they were there, and I got to learn a lot about how they work and how much they save as far as emissions out in the air. We're now we're live in Salt Lake. Danica Lawrence, Fox 13 News, Utah. Now, Danica, are we to the point where we need to restrict our activity outside? Not quite yet. We're kind of at that moderate level. Even though it looks pretty bad out here, Bob, it's still at that moderate level. I think we're about 51 right now in the particular matter count. At least that's, you know, what I heard Breck and Allison talking about earlier today. But it sounds like when it gets over 100, that's when we really need to restrict our outdoor activity. And if you are going to exercise, do it early in the morning before the drivers hit the roads and all that emission goes up into the air. All right, Fox 13's Danica Lawrence, thanks so much.